What's up, you guys? So the Married to Medicine Season 8 cast photo and trailer has been released. And Married to Medicine is officially coming back March 7th of this year. It's finally back. So let's get into the cast photo that has been released. You guys, this is a beautiful photo. This is a truly beautiful photo. And I know you guys see a new girl on the right. So we're going to get into her in a minute. But let's get into the report for season eight of Married to Medicine. People.com reports Married to Medicine is almost back and with a brand new cast member. The Bravo series will air its season eight premiere on Sunday, March 7th. Featuring new addition, Anila Saja, a fashion blogger and wife of Dr. Corinne Saja. Now, according to the bio, bio for Anila, says Anila lives a fabulous life, working hard and playing harder. Okay. During her spare time, Anila enjoys time with her family and friends, Bollywood dancing, traveling, working out, and of course, shopping. Now, as far as the returning cast members that are actually cast members, not friends to the show, but actually cast members, we have Dr. Jackie Walters, Dr. Simone Whitmore, Dr. Heavenly Kimes, Dr. Contessa Metcalf, and Toya Bush-Harris. So Toya is the only returning cast member that's not a doctor. Now, as far as friends of the show, there is Lisa Nicole Cloud, who has been very violent on Married to Medicine. Lisa Nicole Cloud has been, um, she's been violent on the show, but she is returning to the show as a friend of the show. Quad Webb is also returning to the show as a friend of the show. And Carrie Wells, Carrie Wells is the third friend of the show. She is also returning for season eight. Now, as far as a new cast member, it's either Anila or Anila. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her first name correctly, but as far as her bio, if you guys wanna get into her, somebody asked her, does she work? And she responds by saying that she's a blogger. So here we go again with people questioning if being a YouTuber, if being a blogger is a job. And we have Dr. Heavenly saying, I didn't think that was a job. Now I'm sure that, she, you know, just an edit, I'm sure she was probably saying, I didn't think that was a job until I started doing it. So a lot of this season is gonna be about the BLM movement. And it's also gonna be about the pandemic, just like we see on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. People goes on to say, though they are busy with their work as frontline health workers throughout the pandemic, the cast still makes time for drama, both with each other and in their relationships. Now, as far as relationships, you see Contessa at the center of the cast photo. And it seems her storyline with Scott is gonna be one of the main storylines on the show. That's why she's at the center center of the photo and Carrie Carrie Wells is all in her business regarding her situation with her husband now I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind seeing the friendship between Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie as a storyline on the show one of the main storylines mm -hmm. because I like to see like sisterhood even if it's a broken sisterhood between Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone it seems like Dr. Heavenly for whatever reason Dr. Heavenly is kind of positioned as what's keeping them from repairing their broken friendship. So I know these shows, these reality shows do a lot of relationship drama, but I wouldn't mind seeing like some sisterhood drama. I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, what is really going on with Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie. And I wouldn't mind seeing them reconcile. Like that could be a main storyline for me. It doesn't always have to be about somebody's marriage falling apart. <laughs> And I also want to see, you know, it's been in the blogs that Toya and Eugene are selling their forever home. They took the time to build from the ground up a dream home. And then it was reported that they're selling their dream home. So I would also like to see that play out on the show. Now, as far as the cast member, I did share with you guys almost a year ago, I did share with you guys that Bravo was casting. They had posted a messy casting call, in my opinion, and they were casting for a new housewife or a new doctor to be featured on the show. So let's get into that. And then we're going to get into more of the new girl on the show. What's up, you guys? So I want to share with you guys this casting call that was posted for Bravo's Married to Medicine. And I want to know who you think is out. Do you think Buffy didn't make the cut? Or do you think they're pushing Quad out of Married to Medicine? Now, this casting call is interesting for a number of reasons, not just the situation with Quad divorcing Medicine and Buffy possibly not being a fan favorite. This is also interesting because of the way they discuss race in the casting call. So let's get into it. 
And they're also looking for more lead doctor spouses, specifically women that are Asian, indigenous people, Latino or Hispanic, Middle Eastern, South Asian or Indian, Southeast Asian, Pacific Islander or white, or of European descent. So basically they're looking for non-Black doctors' wives as well. And they're also looking for LGBTQ doctor spouses. I would like to see some LGBTQ doctors, but they're specifically looking for LGBTQ doctor spouses. And it says Bravo TV is seeking affluent, outspoken, and fun spouses of doctors, all specialties in the Atlanta area for their hit docuseries, Married to Medicine. And for this, it's all ethnicity. It's not a specific ethnicity that they're looking for. Now, what I wanna know is who do you think is leaving Married to Medicine? Do you think because Quad is now divorced from medicine that they're pushing her out of the show? Maybe she's gonna be a friend to the show? Or do you think Buffy did not make the cut? So leave a comment and let me know if you think Buffy didn't make the cut or if you think they're pushing Quad out or if there's someone else that you want to see leave the series, leave a comment and let me know. And before I go, I just want to shout out some YouTubers I watch that review Married to Medicine, like um, James Caldwell. I'll leave a link to his channel. Color Me Pink, a link to her channel will be below. Rodney The Voice will also be below. And Bondi Blue. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you check them out. All right, you guys. So Bravo definitely got what they wanted. They wanted to um, incorporate someone of a different ethnicity, which I think is great. I think it's great to have a multiracial cast. And, um, you know, I have a special place in my heart for people of South Asian descent because I went to India in 2014, I believe it was. And I really enjoyed it. I went to Bangalore. Um, Karnataka was a state and Bangalore was a city. And I enjoyed it. I'm going to insert a picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think of the season eight cast of Married to Medicine. What do you think of Quad being uh, changed to a friend of the show now that she's divorced um, her husband, who was a doctor? What do you think of, you know, of course, the whole situation with Mariah and her having to sue Bravo over this whole situation. What do you think of Carrie Wells returning? And what do you think of Lisa Nicole Cloud returning? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, Layla, Layla,